What's all this in aid of, then? This tight white shirt business. You dressing for the boys? Sorry, lads, look, but don't touch. But don't look, cos that's sexist. Yeah, I know. I say. Stacy. You don't fool me. Unless it's for my benefit, of course, but I don't think so. I know a dyke when I see one. That's not you. Stacy, can not you... Not with them fingernails. Sorry, love. I'm interrupting. Go on. Stacy, calm down. If you wanted me to be calm, you wouldn't have brought me in here, would you? Whatever this is, whatever you've got it in your head that I'm supposed to have done, you better have it all thought through. Because there are people out there that would not take kindly to you trying to fit me up. Here's an idea. Why don't we get the interview done first, and then if there's time at the end, you can make your little threats then. How does that sound? Are you happy to do this without a solicitor? Don't need one, because I've done nothing wrong, love. Interview commenced at 4.44pm. Detective Omara present. Right, Stacey, if you could just give me your full name. Stacey Doyle. And your date of birth. June 18th, 94. And do you know why you're here? No. Who it's regarding? No. Well, I'm guessing it's about Mark from what you've been saying, but... What that's got to do with me, your guess is as good as mine. Better than mine. We're here because in the early hours of the 7th of December, officers were called to the Bates Hall Flats in Upton following reports of a disturbance at the home of a Mr Mark Willis. Yeah, Mark, that's who I said. Upon entering the property, they found Mr. Willis lying in a semi-comatose state. He's now been moved to the um, Countess of Chester Hospital in a fully comatose state. Well, yeah, he's a pisshead though, isn't he? Mm. He's a victim of thallium poisoning. You familiar with thallium? Mm. Thallium's a rat poison. It's colourless, odourless and tasteless. Mark consumed just short of half a pint on the 9th of the 7th. He's in a critical condition, and if he dies, we will be treating this as a murder inquiry. And if the person who administered the poison is in fact the person that we think it is, then that person, Stacy, will face life in prison. Do you understand? Does that give you a better idea as to why you're here? <laughs> 